Hi guys, it's Half I am back again, and I'm going to do a tutorial today on a sponged gradient. The polish that I have started with is Jaded from Revlon, and I have put a couple of coats on all of the fingernails that I am using in this one. Uh, it doesn't dry very fast, even though it's supposed to, hence why I dinked it. I'm going to be using a couple of other polishes. So we have from OPI Yodel Me on my cell, which is a bluey green, kind of a teal, but leaning more towards blue. And the other one is from Nicole by OPI, and this one is Positive Energy, which is a silver, almost chromey type of polish. The other thing that we are going to be using is a sponge. This is just a latex free makeup type sponge. Um, I've used it before, hence why it looks a bit ratty where I cut it off. So we will be using that. Uh, one trick is to make sure that the sponge is at least the length of the nails that you are actually working on. It does make it quite a bit easier in the long run. One of the things I'm going to show you today is two different ways of masking your nails for doing things like sponging. One of them is a latex type barrier, which is what that Born Pretty one, and the other one is sticky tape. I am going to start with the sticky tape version. So what you want to do is get yourself a reasonable sized piece of sticky tape and you place it down one side of your nail as close as you can to the nail without going onto the nail where you want to paint and just press that down then wrap it underneath the nail and come back up the other side of the nail and stick that all down then you're going to get another piece of sticky tape and go across the base of the nail, um, trying to get as close as you can without going on the nail. As you can see I was struggling a bit trying to keep in frame and do this at the same time. <laughs> it was not the easiest. And just wrap that around the finger, which I am doing out of frame of course. I ended up with a little gap that I wasn't happy about. So I'm actually going to get another piece of sticky tape and cover up that little gap there just to make sure that I have as little as possible clean up afterwards. This technique does work if you're doing uh, water marbling but you might want to make sure you wrap more sticky tape underneath your finger because it will get quite a bit of nail polish on it. So here we go with the latex style barrier. I don't mind this one from Born Pretty. It's a really good price and everything, uh, but it does have certain limitations, uh, which you will see later on in the video when I go to remove it. Uh, it, it does help with uh, cleanup. Um, my recommendation if you're using this is to put at least two coats on and make sure that it is really properly dry before you do anything and don't try to peel it off straight away <laughs> even though that's what they tell you to do if you're water marbling you would want to make sure that you went underneath your finger as well which i am clearly not doing here um, because you will get nail polish all over your fingers not just around the nail so just paint it around the nails, make sure you cover it well. Um, this one is not as sticky as some, so you don't tend to stick your fingers together if they touch, but that can happen with some latex type barriers. Um, clearly, if you are allergic to latex, you would want to make sure that you're using a non-latex version of it. But uh, this is the one that I had handy so it's what I used. Now to sponge your gradient is really quite simple. Get your sponge, paint nail polish on in stripes or if you're doing a radial gradient you do it in a circle but we're just doing stripes here because we're trying to do a fairly simple one. 
Uh, so I'm just painting my three colours. I am not being particularly careful. Actually being quite messy and I get messier as I go on. So you just want to make sure you get a decent amount of each of the nail polishes onto the sponge. And then holding the sponge up and down, like straight up and down, just sponge it onto your nail. Just dab, 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 dab. Try not to go up and down, more side to side. I have a really curvy pointer finger, so I have to make sure I get the end of it. But um, yeah, so that's basically what you do. Then reload up your sponge and do the next finger, so on and so forth. Uh, you will find that the first one looks really, really sheer, but just keep on going. You will build it up um, as you go. And as you can see, I had already started to make a bit of a mess in areas that weren't covered by my barrier. Um, I did have a little bit of problem, but it, everything works out in the end. So I'm just going to do super speedy through this rest of the fingers. Now some people wait quite a while between their coats before they do the next one. I don't do that. I basically just do coat after coat until I am ready or until I'm happy with the design or how it actually looks. Um, so yeah, let's do super speedy through that. you're happy with it you just need to remove your barriers the sticky tape one's really easy just stick a pair of scissors underneath and cut the underneath and peel it away from the nail you can see there's a little bit of cleanup to be done but not as much as if you hadn't done the sticky tape so if you don't have latex sticky tape works quite well and now we're going to move on to the latex barrier and you'll see that where there isn't any nail polish, it peels up really easily. But where there was nail polish, it doesn't peel up very easily. And that is because the nail polish is still wet. And for some reason, this particular barrier doesn't like it when the nail polish is actually wet. So uh, yeah, all of them are a bit different. Um, so it takes me a little while to actually get the majority of this off. Uh, it is easier than using acetone or nail polish remover to clean up, but it is a pest. So now that I've finally got all the barrier off, I am going to use my little concealer brush. It's an e.l.f. concealer brush uh, with some nail polish remover, non-acetone nail polish remover, only because I have artificial nails. I have uh, acrylic overlays on my nails and I try to avoid using acetone around my nails as much as possible. So just use a brush and clean up what other little bits of nail polish are left.
around them, apply a top coat to them. This will actually smooth out the gradient and um, apart from making it all shiny, it smooths out the gradient and makes it look a little bit more seamless. Uh, I'm actually going to be adding to this design in another video which will be coming up soon um, where I add to this with some stamping and some 3D stuff so be sure to keep an eye out for that. The top coat I happen to be using is Essie's Good To Go because I had a small bottle of it and I want to use it up. So if you have enjoyed this uh, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below I try to respond to all comments and if you want to subscribe click the button down below and click the little bell to get notified and I will see you in my next video. See ya!